Greetings, I'm Christopher Long, and welcome to the debut edition of Face to Face, my new series that was born, oddly, completely by accident. It was the first weekend of spring 2022, and my buddy Doug and I, we were heading from Central Florida for a wild weekend in Nashville, but not before taking an unexpected detour through Athens. I'd recently interviewed rising country singer-songwriter Kimberly Morgan for a V13 feature, and I had to meet her face-to-face -face for a photo op and maybe a coffee conversation. And as it turns out, she was so fun, she insisted after our coffee to take Doug and I on a unique tour of downtown Athens. It was all done off the cuff and lo-fi, but Doug captured the entire tour, and here it is. Hop in the minivan, kids. We're heading out to Athens, and we're gonna get face-to-face -face with Kimberly Morgan York. So where are we headed next? We're pulling onto Millage Avenue, where um, the B-52s had their first show on Valentine's Day in 19... No, that was REM. I don't know what year it was. Probably 1977, I'm going to guess. So this is the original B-52's house. Their party house. They were known for house parties. Musicians have lived here too next door and taco stands where they get their sustenance. This is the fabulous 40 Watt, where all the magic happens in Athens, Georgia. You are rock and roll in Athens. And you, when you first came to Athens, you've been here for 20 years now? Yeah, so. You were in a little apartment right down the street there. <laughs> Very small, with 30-year-old blue carpet that was questionable. But, and we had a mattress on the floor and a futon in the living room. So this Hot is your, your very first pad in, in, in Athens. It was not this, quote unquote, nice when we lived here. <laughs> We're standing outside the Wuck Street, and this is the famous... The what? The Wuck Street. The Wuck Street. The Wuck What's the Wuck Street? The Wuck Street is a record store famous for the fact that Peter Buck was working here when he met Michael Stipe, who would come in to shop the record store. And what did they do? What are they famous for? R.E.M. baby. R.E.M. baby. <laughs> Let's go inside. Wuck Street Records, it's been around since 1976, and my name's John Kim Fernandez, and I've worked here for 23 years. We never gave up on vinyl, and so we're pretty deep shelved, uh, where we've been buying and selling vinyl throughout our entire history, even when CDs were, were more popular. Well, we're pulling up to Minchie Space, which is one of our most beloved charitable organizations in Athens. It's a place where um, musicians can come for free or reduced price health care and um, mental health counseling. It's mostly around to help prevent suicide. Now, they also rent equipment, so if you want to rent equipment for your band to take on the road, if you have some gigs or whatever, they've got it all here. They also do a, you know, they do um, camp for um, kids called Camp Amped that gets kids um, motivated and educated on playing music and recording. A lot of bands have come out of Athens over the years. Oh yeah. Widespread Panic, Drive-By Truckers, some good bands still coming out of, yeah. uh, out of Athens. This is the Flicker Barn Theater. It was opened some years ago by an awesome girl in town named Angie Grass. She's no longer the owner, but she's still around making art in this town. This is the club you want to play before you get to play the 40 watt. This is this is sort of the testing ground for are you cool enough and are you good enough to play over there. And what's our website again? Um, KimberlyMorganYork.com. It's that's easy. easy. Yeah. And that's it. That puts the wraps on the first edition of Face to Face. I want to say thanks to Kimberly Morgan York for being my guest. I'm Christopher Long. Thanks for watching.